So you want to tell us uh, what brings you here tonight? Um, yeah. Okay. Well. Oh, I'm, I'm sorry. Are you two different? Yeah. It's two and different I'm actually things. here for Blinkle. <laughs> of course She's you are. She's our support. Yes. <laughs> okay. So please tell us who you are and okay, why you're I'm here. I'm Judy Stone from the Historical Commission. Newly appointed chair and learning as I go. <laughs> and then um, we're, I'm Martha Townsend. I'm also the Historical and we have been talking yeah. about... Perhaps you should get a little closer here so you can get... Oh, uh, are they... Oh, do you oh, want, want, do you want to join the table? Is yeah, that what probably the best, yeah, because... Yeah, they're going to take the I thought maybe you wouldn't do it. What's me? I took a shower, so we better take. <laughs> yeah, no, the cameras don't detect smell, so it doesn't make a difference. Good. Please. Make yourself a home. Don't fall asleep. In front of the air conditioner. That's a nice chair. And we've been talking about a gazebo. Yes. Um, so, um, and I didn't realize that there was a meeting. I don't know when we had the last meeting, but apparently Tim mentioned it at that meeting. Yeah. And you said something about getting it on the fall, for the fall meeting. But we weren't able to have a meeting in July, and so we're really still in the planning stages, and probably would just drop that and work on it for the spring, is what our thinking is. Yes, yeah, but uh, we hadn't really come to any decisions at all uh, in just very initial planning. Uh, we're just ideas, really. So we're just going to leave it off until spring. Oh, good. Because uh, what we as a committee need, we need kind of specific information. Right. And we didn't even have that. <laughs> yes. Thank mm -hmm. you. And because we need to know, is it going to go here or is it going to go there? Mm -hmm. That information yeah, was that. unavailable. <laughs> and, I'm we, and there was even a question of, well, is it going to be next to the bike path? Is it going to be on by where the trees are? Mm -hmm. We don't know. Right. Well, and Edwin, I, I think just to clarify even, even further, um, one thing I just wanted to be clear that, that you guys were clear about, the, the genesis of this was actually the Historical Commission wanting to uh, think about the possibility of historic markers or placards or whatever those things you call them, mm -hmm. um, that would promote kind of a, a walking tour or history of Hadley around the green. It was in the context of that conversation that the idea also came about of, about, yeah, maybe we should think about a gazebo or some place where you could have people speak or some, you know, mm -hmm. music, you know, you could get this creation of a, a more community orientation to get better use out of the, out of the, um, the green. So, um, we then asked Tim, if Tim, because Tim has a lot of experience with his ears, <laughs> um, and Tim volunteered because it's a project that he had always been interested in. Mm -hmm. So he did an awful lot of legwork. It's just that the, the gazebo conversation got out in front of the original uh, impetus behind this, which was the historical markers. So I think that's the work that the Historical Commission really wants to fully flesh out in all likelihood, there will be a gazebo involved uh, by the end of it, but to Edward's point, it would then be mapped out and everything. Mm -hmm. um, well, it struck me as two different projects. So one question I had was um, in the past when we've had like, the school department or different places where, um, you know, we're really kind of looking at land use, if you will, like we've gone to Berkshire Design or different places and and worked with them to kind of help uh, visualize some of these ideas. Is it possible that uh, if we reached out to a firm like that, 
to, to help with the planning process to make sure that you got exactly what you did need in the future? Is that something that CPA might be able to help with? Absolutely. In fact, I was going to suggest that you change your request for tonight for several thousand dollars to have that kind of plan for design. Mm -hmm. uh, but there's some question now as to whether a gazebo is approved use. So we have to check into that. Well, but, that, but that's on our side. Right, yeah, and that, you know, again, I haven't even been through the design phase with the, the full committee at this point. But, but, but you know, mm -hmm. uh, pick a, uh, you know, uh, um, a designer, ask them how much a plan would be and what you would get, you know, drawings, placement, you know, all that kind of stuff. However much it is, the CPA can pay for that plan. That's the way we like to do things. First, you get money for the plan, and then you get money for the project. So what do you want to do with it as one project, a gazebo separate from markers, uh, both of which will have to call the CPA coalition and see if they're mm -hmm. approved, because they're kind of you know, on the border. Okay. Um, and uh, then you get the plan, right? So everybody knows what they're going on. Uh, that helps build consensus and then people don't fight it after the vote. So that's a good reason to, to, to do it. So we would just need to know then when you, because obviously you can't take a vote tonight without a quorum, but um, when, so once your next meeting is scheduled, we can well, bring that to you then? I would discuss it with the other committee members. I can always speak myself. Yeah. But I like to help people through the process and I think since it, I feel, it's, we'll talk about it. Since it was presented, it's sort of active. And if you want to change it, I think that would be okay with it. But the committee would have to do this on And we can't vote on it because we don't have a quorum. We're not, we're not voting, but we're no we But before we spend the money, wouldn't we want to go make sure Well, we're spending the money on. Or, right, but before you spend the money to give the plan, wouldn't you want to make sure that it is it's going to? It's approved. It's a proof of use. Oh, yeah. Right. Right. Yeah. Right. Right. We could find that out by the next meeting. Okay. All right. I could, I could. One of the concerns is the fact that uh, if you look on the community preservation website uh, from the historical committee, uh, they don't fund new buildings. It has to be rehabilitation of the historical building. Right. Uh, so a gazebo would be considered new structure we didn't know but that. the marker the marker thing may fly uh, the other thing too if you I think you have to come up with really what you're looking for because if all of a sudden Tim was mentioning they're going to have concerts there then you're gonna you have to go for just like yes. they did for Saturka Park they were going to have concerts and where were the people going to park? There was that, no, that's it, planning. That's that's more planning board. And on the other well, side, that's but city. nevertheless, yeah, if you sure. decide, it has to go before the planning board for an idea of yeah. drainage, parking, and right. so it's a little bit more complicated yes. than markers, and uh, so that's what you have to be aware yeah. of as well. So you you guys are meeting next next week. Yeah. Okay. And then we'll just stay in touch with with you all and find out. This is kind of a hundred degree turn from the old, <laughs> the former, if that's a better word, uh, historical people. They did not want any structures. They wanted the town common to be open. And uh, there might even be a bylaw preventing things from being built. Oh, we did look into that. Yeah, look into that, and then the other thing yeah, we is... We couldn't find any bylaw for What's, well, it, uh, it was kind of their concept, and, uh, you know, the fountain. Uh, it's an example of somebody donated it. I think the Lions Club donated it. And it did have a beautiful fountain for a while, and then neglected. And uh, there's only so much you could ask the highway department to do. And... Uh, yeah, that's a select board issue. Well, that's the good point. It was raised some concern. They heard about the casino on TV, and they said, well, 
is that are you going to use town employees again? And that was supposed to be the friends of the elementary school, not. So can the friends of elementary school use town employees? I I don't yeah. think they can. No, not without not without clearance from the town. Yeah. Well, so you're I talking mean, about the gazebo of the elementary school. Yes. Yeah. So that that's a concern too. Yeah. Uh, mm -hmm. You know, how much can you use town employees for your pet projects? Or is it, or they're supposed to be highway department rather than, so there are some concerns yeah. that. I would like for there to be a public meeting to talk about it. So the letters and the members can weigh in. But first things first, right? So to be, right. yeah, first the plan. Just come up with a plan to present. And then well, they we have, have to. They have to have something a little bit more concrete because the yeah. yeah. Berkshire must, must design, they'll do, they'll design the Taj Mahal, and uh, right. because they're going to get a percentage of it. Another important thing is who's going to be the responsible party for the project. We're not, we're not to maintain not it. I mean, to, uh, so the way the CPA works is that the town votes to give a certain party money for a certain project. So that has to, the project has to be spelled out and who's responsible. Yeah, and right. If any Papaki were here, he said, look into what other towns have done. Uh, you know, the South gazebo Hadley. in South Hadley was more of a community spirited thing rather than just asking for he money and so on. He had some questions that he emailed me so that it might be interesting. Mm -hmm. Well, this whole thing started uh, at the historic commission to the idea that we have this iconic common that's longer than anyone else's and that anybody walking around it, walking their dog or anything else, probably doesn't know a lot of the history that started right there. Mm -hmm. and, um, you're right, you're right. And so that's where this whole idea is started. Well, how can we get that history, that very interesting history, out there and then it started well we should have some sort of markers that tell the history of this spot or this dike or this meeting house and then it got from there well if we had a place where people could gather and we could give talks to everybody about this green that's how it, it sort of um, got from there but I think that still goes back to the original idea of how we uh, sort of memorialize Hadley's really interesting history down there on the common. Yeah. Okay, this is, this is the only thing that we received about the previous presentation. And it was understood that Mr. Neihart was just kind of, well, I'm surprised nobody else is here, but I'll give my spiel. And we started asking questions, and then he got and he said, all right, I'm done. I freely got admit, up in a huff and left. I can honestly say I have never watched a CTA meeting in its entirety. <laughs> but I did watch it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So, yes, I understand. Yeah. 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 But again, you know, Tim, Tim was well intentioned. Um, yeah, he was. But, yeah. Right. We understand that. We know. But uh, our hands are tied. He was wearing a, was another hat, hat, too. And I, and I must admit, I'm probably a little tough on him because it appears he wanted the gazebo and I'm saying Tim it's like Marie Antoinette said let them eat cake we have to worry about Russell School we wanted three hundred thousand dollars to paint the town hall again we're gonna have the the old library what we're gonna do with it North Hadley Hall there's so many things that we haven't addressed yet all of a sudden let's work on the gazebo I think I told him he's on the building committee we should take care of what really is in front of us right now. So that was uh, kind of. Okay. So at this point, it's withdrawn? Is that what you're saying? Well, uh, the idea is withdrawn, but the plan is like that. Okay. We're just going to leave on the back screen. Okay. 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 I, nothing, I mean, nothing brought to this committee to vote on. For spring, for spring town meeting. We'll have our same two meetings and get to come forward and, you know, get money for the plan. Generally... Well, that's what I'm saying. The, the money for the plan, 
you know, at, at your meeting next week, I talk seriously about that for the fall to, to get that on the fall. So that well, I guess that's what we're asking. Do you still want to try to sneak it in to this town meeting coming up, or do you want to just the money for the plan? Well, what's what's the plan? What the plan, the, the plan is to sit down with people to right, to hire them so they can I, No, I think that should come from the committee. Come in with something conceptual that's of what, what you want to do, right. next week. and then we then we know to. how much money to give you. If do you want a thousand? Two thousand? Is it going to be an elaborate presentation? I think the committee should come in with a plan. We want markers, and maybe that's all they want. Or, mm -hmm. and where is it going to be located? And uh, that will give us an indication of how much money. If there's a gazebo and you're going to have concerts, then you're looking at drainage and parking and a lot more complicated. So we yes, have to give you more money. Yeah. All I'm saying is that if you're meeting. Next so week, I, we, we I think they have to do a little bit more homework before we can, can, can meet with yeah. the. But it, it's a lot of work to put together even a small proposal in a week. Mm -hmm. So just think about if that's what you want to do or if you want to wait. Technically, the warrant is already closed. Right. Mm -hmm. Technically, the warrant closed August 1st. We asked for placeholders in case somebody came forward. and. I think, I think we did put a placeholder right there for it. Yeah, I think we so. Yeah. And so we're kind of running out of room on the calendar to, you know, propose something. And the idea, I think you should probably canvas the community that people live in that area. Uh, the cemetery committee had a list of names approving of what they're going to do and uh, rather than just be hit with it first at a town meeting if you can reach out to the people in the area uh, see what they think about it too maybe encourage them to come to town meeting yes <laughs> good i hope so I, I think we're encouraging you not to try this cycle right i'm but thinking it's to too much to try i think it's gonna unless you're willing to spend numerous hours in the next week working on this proposal. So we're going to Baker's Island tomorrow. <laughs> well, good for you. Good for you. Good for you. And thank you for your town service. You know, it's hard finding committee members, and it's really good. You yeah. um, by the way, the historic set-aside has $87,109. So that's the set-aside for your committee's right. purposes. It, you know, it's not like we're trying to put a burden on you. I mean, in the past, for example, in rewriting zoning bylaws, I'd go around to 16 communities and get their booklets. We, now we're probably getting a little lazy. Let's go to Pioneer Valley. Uh, call it sophisticated plagiarism. Let's see what other people have in the idea. And I'm sure uh, certain town commons have plaques, markers. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Well, thank you. Thank you. One other hat. Yeah. Uh, from uh, the North Hadley Church. I, uh, it isn't complete yet, mm -hmm. but other people have told me how nice it looks. That's that a they, terrific job. They've been working on preserving, you know, mm -hmm. everything's back up. You know, the steeple's back up, the weather vane's on top, the, they're working on the I, preservation of the front facade. Uh, every single time I drive by that place, I look at the pond and I don't look at the buildings. <laughs> <laughs> I apologize for that. No, I look at it all the time. No, I just, okay, because I've gotten, uh, I've gotten oh, comments from other people in North Hadley or people just walking by, okay. people that don't necessarily even have anything to do with the town. Mm -hmm. It does, it shows, it, it almost glows because it's so late. Oh, good. Good. It's so drab, you know. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I, uh, I got a call from some people from the church who said they wanted to come back for me because there were problems that they hadn't expected and they wanted more money. And I told them, oh, give us the deadline. Mm -hmm. They said, okay. The deadline? And now we're kind of in a spot that we will find out presently. Mm -hmm. But they're welcome to come back and apply. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah, I think um, there was. Um, my, one, my one question I, is. I'm, I'm not an engineer. I, the, what I heard was that they found between the steeple and the roof uh, that there was uh, water getting in there, so that they suggested, since they were working on it, that they should do some more work. And that wasn't in the original plan. I don't think they knew it was there, mm -hmm. you know, until they got in there and found it underneath. My one question is, uh, are the directions on the weather being correct? <laughs> I thought north was the other way. You don't know where north is. Okay. Uh, oh, north is. You know where north is. North goes up. It's under. North on the weather vane points out over the pond. Uh, <laughs> uh, well, well, maybe we'll have to recalibrate the whole thing. <laughs> no. You'll need more money so you can fix the uh, <laughs> Instead of uranium deposit under my water, it's cool. Right, I don't mean to be picky about things, but you know, it's the public money and we want to know where it is. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay, um, okay. I'll, I'll take it back to the crew. Okay. Okay. Um. All right, so the spot I was talking about that we're in is now this new possible proposal for Sandy Beach. Is that what we're talking about? Yes. Yeah. And I will also, just before we leave, I was here before yes, you can as the uh, okay. chairman for the cemetery committee. That proposal, I'm not talking about that. Hopefully that's still uh, the, uh, I, I, under consideration. It, it was my impression that the committee uh, viewed those two proposals very favorably. And um, yes. uh, if we had enough people, I think you would be happy with the outcome. I am meeting with the historical commission at the next meeting because I informally met with them back and they didn't have a quorum. So they couldn't say, yes, go ahead, it's, you have our blessing. But I'm hoping to get that on the 28th, I think it is. What's the proposal? It's for the cemetery restoration work for the gravestones at the Bacchanal. Oh, that, that, okay, that, I, yeah. I thought Sandy Beach was. No, yeah, so yeah, that's, I just want to, I'm, I have two hats, so I don't want to say that, but I'm not here for the cemetery committee tonight, unless you want to talk about it or mm -hmm. you're going to vote to quorum. No, that was an that, excellent presentation. Yeah, we'll appreciate that and, you know, Look forward to getting getting going on that. But uh, to, if I could just sit on the table, sure. maybe that would be helpful. Um, so what Molly and I are here for um, is uh, basically a late proposal uh, to put forward for acquisition of uh, recreational space land. Just a, literally a few days ago, it came known to both of us and. Uh, and, you know, in the normal circumstances, we go to the Conservation Commission, the Parks and Rec people first, and actually do the select board as a formal. Uh, since this meeting is tonight, uh, and you need to talk, we hear about it at some point anyway, and because we're, because time may be of the essence, we thought we would, you know, put something together and discuss it with you folks who see what you felt about it. I mean, I did see that, that the reason I asked whether this thing was approved, the plan, because it does, and I, I think you've done this before as well, that uh, sometimes you can adhere to the application deadlines. It says, for example, priority open space property unexpectedly comes on the market, and that's exactly what, what's happened. Mm -hmm. This property, which I'm sure most of, most everybody knows about, or has heard about, it's been in the uh, Zahowski family, and this happens to be my cousin, um, my wife's cousin. Um, for 100 years, 100 years of the two, this year, they acquired it. They acquired it from the Porters, which is kind of interesting. Mm -hmm. Another old family in Hadley. And they've had this property for 100 years, and Alan's decided the time has come to uh, you know, rethink some priorities, and it's time and everything else. He's decided to put it on the market. And the reason we're interested in it is not the, 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 the cornfields, obviously, in the front, but in the back is the place you want to see the beach. Which is, um, and it's a 10.5 acre parcel. Um, it's open to the Connecticut River. The towns has used, the towns people have used this going back to the 30s at least, okay? Um, and all the prior to the moment. But um, and not so much in the last 20, 30 years it hasn't been quite as you know, open. But it's still a beautiful piece of property. It's actually. Amazing, gorgeous, well maintained, um, and uh, it's right at the end of the road. Actually, the road goes right up to the gate, so there's no problem. And it's a, sort of it's actually called Sandy Beach Road. It's an offshoot of Aquavita, mm -hmm. 
so there's no problem with access there. And uh, since Alan has, uh, you know, decided to put it on the market, and uh, but he's, you know, he's indicated the, his first choice would be to let the town have a crack at it. And obviously, it's, uh, we're talking about a hundred thousand dollars for this property. This is a ten-acre property. Um, and that's for how many acres? Ten. Okay. Down there. Yep. I can tell you that um, this is based on. Is a realtor who told me. There was I I know of another piece of property down the street, down the, down the road, Aquavita Road. It sold in 2015, five acres. Fifty-five thousand dollars, and it's nowhere near what this has. So, I just well, you know, the uh, the conservation commission is here. And yes, and that's <laughs> and there's a FEMA regulations. You cannot build anything there. You wouldn't have to build a thing. Wouldn't have to build a thing. What What would you do? What would you uh, hope well, to well, attract? Well, Actually, what we hope to do is acquire it for the benefit of the town, and then, you know, what happens to it as far as how it tends to be used or not used. What would the town do with it? It provides riverfront access that we don't have, and it actually completes a portion of our master plan. Yeah, actually, the master plan, and let me just read from the master plan. It says, in addition to new improved playing fields, feedback from Hadley residents in open forums, meetings, and townwide survey. Also identified playgrounds, picnic areas, public access to the Connecticut River, tennis courts, and the possibility of a town beach as being among several recreational needs to be addressed in the future. The passage of the Community Preservation Act should provide funds to be earmarked for the creation and enhancement of these types of recreational opportunities. So it's an opportunity. Is it? You know, it's, not, it's not a slam dunk as far as what the town would do with it. Obviously, it's and the reason we're doing this now instead of doing all the planning and the and the discussions that you know normally you want to do is because it's it's one of those situations where it's on the market. Um, so and it's in sixty one. Yeah. So I mean, yeah. What, so what the town has right of first refusal anyway. Yeah. So as long as we, as long as the what uh, it's, uh, it's in sixty one a. Nobody's going to talk. We're not talking about putting houses there. Why? Why would that one be in sixty one a? Because of the cornfields. So it's cornfields. It's agricultural land. Yeah. All right. The, there is no difference in the valuation that you can't build there, and it's only agricultural. So what's the difference between the assessment of 61A and floodplain? To me, but they're both pretty restricted. They're both. Yeah. yeah. Well, they're both. so the owner has to approach the town and say. Right of I, I, yeah. Does the town want to exercise its right of first refusal? So yeah. at that point, the town can say yay or nay. Of course. Mm -hmm. So what's the rush to buy it right now? The owner has to apply to for right okay, of first well let's, refusal. Let, let's, let's say he does that. Mm -hmm. He's going to offer. And what's the time? What's the three of 60 days, 90 days? Yeah, 120, 120 days oh, okay. to act on it. Yeah, but I mean, if we if we did that and we then said, okay, yeah, we, we want to buy it, but it's in between town meetings or some other thing, you know, it seems like it'd be a good idea to get the ducks, all the ducks lined up that we can. Because again, if, even if you guys said, go ahead, town meetings are approved, conservation groups are approved. Um, uh, and uh, actually, for the other thing. Yeah, I mean, again, this is all happening very quickly. Right. Yeah. Um, so the f first thought was, oh, is it possible that this could be a good use of CPA funds? Uh, there are other possible funding scenarios as well. So I just want to be mm -hmm. forthright about that. One of them being. You know there are some other monies that are that are set aside right now that have uh, restrictions on them. But one of the allowable uses is the purchase of land. So David Nixon at Town Hall is also exploring that, and I had intended mm -hmm. to um, have a conversation with Paulette because mm -hmm. uh, I thought about that as well. But so, to what end? I mean, what can we do with it? It is riverfront. 
riverfront yeah. access, but you have to cut down trees. You have no, to. No, it's actually. Well, you want to look pictures? It's, it's well, somebody, somebody may have illegally done I, this, but it's I, been done. No, I've been perfect. there, and that river is changing. And uh, oh. I, if people are going to have riverfront access, uh, is it going to be parking? Is it? Sure. What's going to? Uh, so you have to realize what is available under FEMA regulations too. Well, I mean, you, you know, if you, are you going to want docks or not? Like, you know, but we, need, we what do you do first? I mean, yeah, we have to do all those things. Absolutely, we have to, you know, figure out who, how much is it going to cost the town to operate. Never mind to buy it. If you're going to operate it, and how are you going to operate it, and what can you do under the regulation? Obviously, but you can't do anything. Um, you know, if you don't own it, if somebody else owns it and, and is using it, with now, due respect, don't have it, so. we do an awful job managing real estate. We have so much okay. real estate that we can't. We're not managing it well. Joe, sure, I appreciate that, but again, this is a CPA. Is that, committee, is that the and point? Though? So we're, we just wanted to come to find out if you believe in your wisdom on how the CPA committee works and, and all the rules and regulations. Is this something that could even be considered um, for use of CPA dollars? Well, I, I mean, I, I'm not positive if it, if it would fall under the guidelines. It seems like it should. Seems like it should. It seems yeah. like it should. And I could see where, you know, it would be nice to have a place to be, you know, I'm, I'm thinking, I'm trying to picture it because um, I'm really not sure. But I'm thinking it's a place to take, you know, take the could, kids could to the beach in. or something or put well, a kayak in. Maybe maybe it, is that what you're you know? the, the river comes know. and goes, okay? So oh. when you go out there, you've got like, well, the sandbar sand. is changing yeah. right sandbar, there. Right. Right. It right. used to be sandy beach in there. Right, now it's grassy beach. Yes, yes. <laughs> so, um, yeah, it, it definitely changes. And that Although sandbar it's, is ebbing and flowing. Exactly. And exactly. I mean, I think so, it's a nice feature, yeah. really nice feature for Hadley. I just, it, there's, a, there's so many questions Absolutely. when it comes to it. Mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> and again, this is just, you know, yeah. this is for the, the first spirit of you can't win if you don't play. One of yeah. the things that right. in the, the master plan that's very clear when you look at the geography of Hadley, right, you know, the river runs through it, so we're bordered, like, the, you know, the longest stretch is that Connecticut River running right next to us. The town has no way to get to it. You have to go through the Sportsman's Marine area. You have to, I mean, it's all private property. So this is one of those situations where, um, you know, why not? Why not gain the access to it? And then it will, I'm sure, open up an awful lot of thoughts um, about what might be done to it. But at least in my mind, as a select board member right now, it's strictly let's snag the riverfront access of the opportunities there. Well, I'm thinking that it, it one of the things that you want to snag it if it's it, because you don't want to lose it. Mm -hmm. And if it's worth that kind of money, well then, if you decide you don't want, you know, you can resell it. So I think of that. Yep. So so you can always resell it, right? But then maybe in that particular case, I'm thinking, well, maybe they purchase it not with CPA money, with other monies, and then because you're going to need a lot of money to redo whatever, just like Saturka Park, mm -hmm. there's going to need to or be not. a plan, yeah. right? No, or, not. or not? Yeah. Oh, you, you, you don't think so? Oh, well, I don't know. It's, it, well, I mean, it, it depends. You know, you can go, again, you can go Taj Mahal route, or you can just go past some recreation, which is what's oh. there for now, right. what it's used for now. Um, the problems. last, the last time we we rushed into something was Alexandra Dawson wanted to buy some land uh, near the University of Massachusetts Stadium oh, where the bus terminal is and it's going to be nature's living kidney and for Alexandra mm -hmm. and she proposed it. We jumped into it and we didn't realize that this bus terminal there was excluded. I agree People didn't, that. you didn't know that. No, yes I did. Why didn't you speak up then? Nobody knew it until I thought it, it came before the planning board. I thought it was a good, I thought it was a good company. No, but Purchase. did you know that the that bus terminal was yes, going to be located there? there? Yes. And you? I did. Well, you were, you were one of well, the few. Yeah, this is, that's obviously that's, all, you know, this, you know, but I, I, you, you, I didn't want to even say, this is something that's easier to beg forgiveness than to seek permission. I've heard that one a million times. Yeah. yeah. And it usually works. Um, but the other one that I, I learned the highway is the perfect can be the enemy of the good. If you wait till everything is perfect and everything is 
lined up and every question has been answered, then you don't end up with anything usually, but you can end up with something good if it's not perfect. So is it good enough? And that's, I mean, obviously that's not a question for me to decide, you decide, Tom has to decide. But the question is, do they want, do we have the opportunity to embark on those kinds of discussions and those decisions? If this, you know, in, in this place, if I, I would argue that this place, and I've seen a lot of the river, this place is unique. Um, it's not just a piece of property that happens to have access to the, to, to the it's got a his, it's history. And it's got that road that goes right down, dirt road, of course, goes right down to it. It's, in, it's quote, unquote, improved. So you don't, it's not like poison ivy and, and fallen trees and everything else. Now, will that be forever? It's the river, you know. Uh, but it's got, to me, it's got so much um, uh, uniqueness, and it's a unique opportunity that, that, you know, I'd love to see the town at least take a look at it. So, are you, oh, I'm sorry. No, I think if the town wants it, he ought to fund it through uh, another source, not necessarily CPA. Now, once the town owns it and they wanted to do something with it, then approach yeah, that's the right. CPA. That's, that's, a, that's, 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 a, that's, that's a good possibility. That's, that's, that's another possibility. That, yeah. I think, would yeah. be the fairest thing. Yeah. But to use CPA funds to purchase something and you don't know what you're going to use it for and just to have it because it's there and we should, we should have it, doesn't really seem to be a very good reason. Once the town owns it, they come up with a plan, we want to do this, this, and this with the property, then use, no, that's a, a, then approach the CPA and say, we're planning on doing this, it fits the criteria, can we apply for funds? That's the way yeah. I look at well, it. Well, I mean, I, and that's a, you know, that's a good point and a fair, a fair way to look at it. I mean, there are, Rather than ways of saying, well, CPA is there to acquire open space. Mm -hmm. it, it's not like it's you shouldn't, but you know, I, I hear what you're saying. And, you know, it's yeah. certainly uh, if there's a plan for it, and if you got something to it, and if the town is interested in buying it, then there's other monies available to purchase that land. Once the town owns it, they come up with a plan for utilizing it. Then, then go to the various yeah. organizations. And that's, that assumes that you'd be uh, proposing to do something that requires spending money, other than maintaining. Mm -hmm. And that's you can't do yeah. CP. You can't use CPA money to the maintain. Regret. If we wanted to build something, but as you said, if you, there's not much you can build there. You're not going to build for it. a there for, for a recreational he will, purpose. He will get that money, and somebody yeah. will put a trailer there. <laughs> Which is well, not a lot right, of and then we'll have to kick them out. But well, uh, for uh, recreational purposes, yeah, we got a hundred trailers. We don't kick them out. Well, CPA well, well, can be it was town owned property. You wouldn't be nobody would be putting a trailer down there. I don't think. For uh, for recreational purposes, yeah. you can build a park there with CPA yeah. funds. Yeah. yeah. Well, I, but to build a brand new structure. Yeah, I don't think that's yeah. for a for a see. historical set aside would be an improper use of CPA yeah, right, funds. Yeah, right. I agree to, totally with yeah. that. So I, I, don't think, I don't think, we don't, I mean, nobody knows exactly how it would be used, but it would be a use question, not a build question. Mm, be, you know, do you, I think we're getting, I wouldn't be in favor of an article like that just because, to, to use CPA funds. For the town to purchase it, yeah, um, I, Seriously consider it. Well, and that, that's all we're, that's yeah, all and we're again, just so you know, yeah. I mean, Alan's not kidding. I mean, this, we, we've done about as much as we possibly could over this, the space of a few days trying to vet this. Mm -hmm. um, the select board is just going to be discussing this for the first time on Wednesday. And again, just or the ordering of things. We didn't know when you were meeting again, so we wanted to come because the select board's going to say, "Do you think we can use CPA funds for it?" Right. So okay. Alan wanted. I mean, Alan busted his tail trying to put a packet together for you guys just to see if it was even feasible. Right. So I think what I'm what I'm hearing, at least for our purposes on Wednesday, is that it's possible um, that you you would consider that you want more information. Um, 
we are definitely going to be talking about other funding mm -hmm. possibilities as well. Mm -hmm. You know, everything from taking it out of a potentially an existing trust to um, we can always go the borrowing route if we wanted to too. But I don't. But there's think also cash flow trusts and trustees or reservations. And we couldn't. Right, but they'd still want to. They'd still want to be turnkey at some point. They're, they're all, they don't. It's a. It, you know. It. A, they front the money. Basically. Think, but think of it. I can hear people say, "We don't want to be responsible. Or we don't want to have to have. You know. Mm -hmm. We don't want to have to pay. We don't want to have to do this. So turn it over to a organization like that might be a possibility. You, you say you mean to run? I'm just. Okay. Throwing. I mean, I, you know, throwing out ideas. <laughs> That'd be fine, but I mean, I, I I remember when the state and the feds wanted to establish the Connecticut River, whatever the heck it was, yeah. Yeah. and Hadley was, hell no, we ain't <laughs> going. And yeah, basically, kept, and, and it's like, not without the landowners, um, you know, they have to initiate this, and uh, we're not going to impose anything on landowners. And, and you know, I don't want to, I per personally, I have nothing against the state. I think they do a good job at the Holy Branch, you know. But no, I don't. I, this should, I have no idea about this being a state-run uh, thing, or I know it should be a town-run thing. Is the town, the town, the beach with it. resident stickers and you know that kind of thing. We have to, the town has control over how uh, it's done. At, at the police department's aware of it. Um, yeah. That was one question. So I well, I, you know, as far as referring to the master plan, uh, it was way down on the list. It, People have a tendency to say, well, it's in the yeah. master plan. That's kind of cherry picking because it doesn't refer to something like the top 10 list. Didn't make the well, top 10. Well, but sometimes we're also told that nobody read the master plan. And well, we don't know what's the, in the it. fact yeah. is the so. planning board the last time, and a couple of people were on the initial one, mm -hmm. went through actuarial studies. You had uh, mailings, everybody, and there was a pretty good cross section of people that were. Uh, Asked what they want to see for the town, mm -hmm. and well, okay. that was not one of the high priorities. But we've all given our individual mm -hmm. opinions. Yes. And we could discuss it as a committee. Uh, you know, more than half of us. And, uh, mm -hmm. So, so it sounds like you I would think, entertain. I think it's. A, back to I, I think it sounds like an incredible opportunity and a great use of So we we'll just have to see. I would help people feel about before it. you even get too far down the road. What can you do with it? I mean, that's the you thing. Can, if you're you just going to you watch it, you can watch the trees grow, and you can't cut the trees down, well, and you can't okay, do Joe, anything Joe, with Joe, it from a FEMA point. Right, but let me ask you this. What has been done with it over the last 70 years? What has been? That place has been used. This place has been people. They've used it. Okay? That's private it's, property. That's They can use well, it. I mean, Private property or public property, is still the use is still the same. This sort of controls it, but people are using it today to, you know, enjoy the the, 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 the riverside. Exactly. And we're not talking about cutting trees down. We're not talking about throwing big sand out there. We're not talking about building pavilions or gazebos. I mean, maybe somebody will talk about that, but I can't. I mean, yeah. Instead of people swimming on private property without permission, right? They have a public place. Where they so I was just going to make the point that I did um, did have an opportunity to speak with the police chief. So I remember in, in years past with Chief Huntowitz when there were some recreational um, discussions that took place, that there was a pretty strong adverse reaction to it. Of course. Um, but but Mike Mike Mason. Hang out and drink beer there. That's <laughs> Mike Mason um, uh, talked to his officers about it, and they uh, I think the direct quote was all day long. I mean, they're more than happy. There shouldn't be any major impact on policing. Sure, you know, a couple of extra calls may come in, but they, they didn't feel public safety was an obstacle to this in any way. They, they think it's a good thing. Mm -hmm. so. so what would you wish to happen with this proposal? Do you want to try to present it at this town meeting? Or do you think you can wait for the next town meeting? No, I think, I think right now the Ideally, it would go for the fall town meeting. You know, that would be the ideal situation. Um, and, and again, 
it, it may become a moot point if other other uh, financing opportunities are discussed by the select board. Mm -hmm. Would you want to keep, keep the, all the property or let the agricultural lands go continue to farm and just keep the riverfront? Yeah. Well, I, 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 well I, I, when I was talking to Admiral, I said, would there be any stipulations on it? Do you want to keep farming, you know, the front? And I think, you know, that certainly makes sense. I mean, well, with the farm, Tom doesn't want to farm it, you know. Yeah. You know, so that would this be not that, a very good year for farmers. So well, he's that's, probably looking and for that's uh, probably you know it's, it's a tough year. Yeah. It is. Yeah, it's a tough year. Power year actually, but um, yeah. So th those things, those are kinds of the details, uh, along with what exactly you know, what are the rules and regulations, what are the restrictions, what all those things would obviously have to be. Uh, what things would need permits, if anything, you know, could even get a permit. I and mean, again, I can't imagine, given the state of the condition of this property right now, what the heck you need to do? Six weeks away. You know. Hmm. Uh, town meeting? Default town meeting is six October weeks away. October 20. I will, I will put this on the agenda for our next meeting. We have to be careful, too, because mm -hmm. I would say we, we can't act every, anyway, every so. other town meeting somebody wants to buy some land somewhere uh, and now I know someone may want to put the Vakula property on oh, yeah, a right town right meeting right. and all oh, that's that's a great thing and then the buy property I heard was going to go on the town meeting yeah, yeah. and of course the North Hadley well, it, situation it, it, and, and, and that's and obviously you can't do everything and, 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 but, uh, and if we get involved in advocating a purchase of certain properties well how come you mm. you want to buy some swamp land and uh, you didn't sure. want to buy some good land that could be used for well except, except we would never use CPA money yeah. to uh, yeah. I don't think well, I can't think of any reason. Your, your committee really what you're saying is based on the CPA regulations that we believe that this request meets the criteria. Well, we don't, so, we don't know, do we? we but no, I'm saying, that, but I mean, to, to your point, I think, I, I would argue that ultimately town meeting is, to, is the deciding factor, right? So like you're saying, if you had five of the same requests for land, and you guys all came to the conclusion that this is a bona fide request under the CPA regs, then you would vote accordingly. But town meeting may say, are you kidding me? I'm not going to buy that, you know? Right. Town meeting is the ultimate authority. Well, right, right, not this group. You know, right, but if it, if it passes <laughs> this group, it goes to town meeting. Right. Right. And so oh, yeah. if it if the people in this group feel that the project doesn't fit, the then, then you must have it. That's it. Yeah, that, that, so to me, that's, I mean, again, I'm not gonna, we're not going to tell you how to do your business. You guys are going to do that, actually. But it seems to me, like, as you said, if, if anybody said we want to use X dollars to do something using CPA money. And you looked at the criteria and your and what stuff you funded so far. You said nope, doesn't fit it. Mm -hmm. End of story. That's right. I mean, you could go still go to town meeting and try to get money. You know, somebody from somewhere, somewhere else. else. Right. Right. Yeah. right. But on the other hand, if it does seem to meet the criteria, it seems to me like the one decision would be let the town meeting decide. It meets our criteria. At least it meets our criteria. And the third thing is, no, we really have to love this thing. You know, we really have to think it's in the best interest of the town before we push it forward. And that's that's certainly, you know, mm -hmm. you can, you can, that's another option we have as a committee is to change the proposal. To that's right. Parts yeah, out. modify yeah. it. Yeah, yeah. yeah sure, absolutely. Yeah. So, I mean, again, we're not trying to ram it through and blindside everybody. And, but but, but some we just thought we felt, are time sensitive. you know, it's time sensitive. We knew it at some point it made sense to come to you and again, we sit down with a con con, I think. Uh, uh, so, so yeah, so and also Parks and Rec, you know, see what they think about this. They, yeah, and I did get through to Diane. I let her know. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah. you know, and then, and then still, we still got to go to town meeting. Mm -hmm. And they've got to say, yeah, I mean, hopefully some people say, oh, yeah, Sandy Beach, that was great. That's where I met my wife. And actually, <laughs> or husband. And I've heard that story. Yeah. Okay? Um, that doesn't mean you're necessarily going to. Have it, but still, it's it's it, that's what to me it what makes it so unique. You know, you still really can't say that about that many places. Hey, you could call it historic. Like River. What's that? You can call it historic. It is historic. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But yeah, that's not what we're asking. Not as a historic money. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but uh, 
And I think you, you ought to look into the fact that you don't want to buy a cornfield. What are we going to do with a cornfield? And uh, if you just want the riverfront, that's a different story, too. Sure. But that's the way to cut down the cost. But, but well, yeah, except that it may not be known to sell it unless it can, well, you know, you, know, you buy the whole parcel. Yeah. You get the value, to, to me, if I'm, if I'm a private buyer and he's using this, I'm not buying, I'm not doing it because I want to raise corn. Right. I want to place, like, and, you, and there's places up and down, you know, on both sides of the river. Um, you know, mm -hmm. if the town passes it up, tell them I want to buy it. <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> okay. Anyway, okay. Well, we appreciate okay, well, all right, time very you, much. Could you send Do, do you want me to? I, I have actually copies of this. I guess you could pass it out. But if you send me an electronic copy, then I can send it to people who are Okay. We actually may, if we're going to do that, probably we'll wait till Wednesday. Yeah, see. Yeah, make sure, because if the select would say, that'd be crazy, yeah. then we won't pay for it. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So um, the way it's almost going to be, you know. Yeah. Okay. yeah. yeah. We can't. We, we, so, we don't have it for right. <laughs> Exactly. So yeah, but I do have a you know thing similar to what they the cemetery thing with the you know the plan, the plot plan, the ownership information, a little bit of a write up. Um, so I'll I'll hold off. Let me hold off. Okay few days to select like boy has a chance to take a look at you this. You want to use up all your good chips that you just created with a cemetery. No, I don't. <laughs> 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 so, that's a, that's a, that's a, I was, I was hoping you would vote for the cemetery right. thing. And then I talked right. so, <laughs> uh, so, uh, so, uh, uh, I wanted to vote oh, yeah. last week because uh, which, said we wouldn't have a war this week. Which committee would be <laughs> <laughs> if it would be the responsible authority who's going to be proposing this? Yeah, well, I think it was. It could be the select board. That's, that's how I had it written. Yes. Yeah. You know, it could so, be part right. of the rec. It could be, I don't know. Well, exactly. You just but, have to get somebody yeah. who's yeah. interested. I mean, ideally, we'd have all of them. Everybody. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Well, thank you. We'll right. keep working on it. So thank you for your time. We'll let you know what, what, what we're going to do next week. You're, 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 the, you're the chair. <laughs> and don't forget, the planning board should have a place to meet. I think the CPA is going to meet on the beach from now on. That's awesome. August, our August meetings. Yeah. 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 So when do you want to meet? Okay. All right. So, so, you, if, okay. so I will send you something after Wednesday. Okay. You let me know if there's going to be another meeting. Absolutely. Okay. Yeah. 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 Okay. yeah. All right. Thank you. Okay. Okay. Thanks, Thanks for coming. Thanks. Does next week work for you three? We have to, yeah. yeah. August 27th. I'm fine with it. Is, uh, actually, is, is it August? Is that August 27th? 8 27. That's a Monday. Mm -hmm. August 27th. Yeah, 7 p.m. Golden Court. Um, so, the, just briefly before we leave. Yep. One million eight hundred eighty-eight thousand seven hundred fifty-five dollars. One million eight hundred eighty-eight seven five five. That's what's in the. That's the total amount. And then now from that, does that include what the money available in the set aside? Uh yes, yes, that's everything. Okay. Thirty-six thousand in open space, eighty-seven point one for historic. 219.5 for housing and 1.54 for general. And then, I had a little trouble reading this, but did you get some money from a 2012 surcharge? $855? Is that what that means? I don't know. And an extra $1,200 from 2007? I don't know. I don't know. Unless, unless that was money that. There was a project and it didn't cost as much and they have to return it. I don't know. That I don't know. Okay, so the town's uh, surcharge was 265583 In this last fiscal year. Yeah. The state's contribution was 88835 and we got 15,261 in change in interest, totaling $371,360.72. So that's, that's real money. Mm -hmm.
Okay, so will we adjourn? Well, we can't adjourn because we never Start. met. We never met. <laughs> <laughs> We're done, John. So we didn't have a quorum. We'll see you all next week.